Hi, my name is Allison Hume and this is Your World Bringing It Home. Today we're going to talk all about local produce and the benefits of supporting our local farmers. We're going to visit the Dedham Farmers Market where we're going to talk to Kate Canny about an initiative that she started in Needham. We'll also learn about the Needham Community Farm, which is a local initiative that's going to be teaching sustainable living in town. Then we're going to go out to Dover and visit Powisset Farm, where we're going to learn about community-supported agriculture and what that means for the community. But first, here we are at Valenti Farms to talk with Terry Valenti about some of the local initiatives that Valenti Farms has in place. Hello, Terry. Hi, thank you for having thank me. Thank you for coming. So tell me a little bit about Valenti Farms. Well, we started in 1917 with my great-grandfather, and he um, mostly had a truck farm that went into, into Boston, the Boston markets, to sell his produce. Um, and that originated in Newton, Massachusetts. Oh. And then when my grandfather took over, he moved it here to Needham. Yeah. And then my, it made a lot of changes and a lot of you know, updates. And then my father took it over and still made many more changes. And now my brothers and I are slowly but surely kind of getting into it and taking it over as well. So tell me about the changes that you've seen over the last five or ten years. Um, here, specifically at this farm stand, you know, you can, you can tell that people are really into the difference in taste. They can really taste the difference, the freshness mm -hmm. of, you know, our corn and all the other products we sell here. The tomatoes, people rave about yeah. those. And um, those are just starting to come in and already people are asking, you know, where are they, uh -huh. where are they? Valenti Farms' popularity with its customers goes beyond the fresh taste of its fruits and vegetables. Partnerships with other area farms provide a bounty of local produce, and working relationships with restaurants provide opportunities for hosting workshops with customers, as well as a way to complete the cycle from field to plate. Beyond that, Valenti Farms is leading the way towards greener growing practices, starting with the technology in place at their new greenhouse. We have multiple things that conserve rainwater and energy. Uh -huh. um, we use natural gas instead of our previous oil heat, which is a cleaner you know, energy. We have a rainwater collection tank, which is 10,000 gallons of rainwater that wow. is collected. So we actually have started using it a, a few days ago. So it's, it's very much you know, recycling the free resources that we have so we don't deplete the ones that we have to you know, take from elsewhere, like the town. Water is certainly a vital resource in the greenhouse, which is home to flowers and vegetable seedlings. Up to 3,000 hanging plants are fed through micro drip emitters, and the young plants are watered through ebb and flow benches. We have a, an underground tank, and it feeds into these benches, floods them a few inches, sits there for a few minutes, and then drains out again into this tank so that it's reused for next time. Wow. So, yeah, basically, it's, it's the ideal way of watering a plant because um, when you hand water, you know, you're hitting the leaves and the flowers and stuff like that, and it could promote disease or spread disease from one plant to another. Okay. And ideally, you never wa really want to wet the foliage of a plant when you water it. So watering it from the, from the roots up is ideal. Great, and it saves water. It does. So it's the best scenario for the plant. Exactly. The best they only the take up as much as they need. As important as water is, Valenti Farms also has to provide the right environment for their plants. One way they do this is through their apex roof, which is opened and closed based on weather conditions. It kind of you know vents out the greenhouse when it gets too hot. Okay. And actually, also on the roof, it um, we have two curtains: an energy curtain and then a shade curtain, okay. which pull across and save a lot of you know heat in the winter, so that at night every every night in the winter they're both pulled shut and the heat is you know not Kept. as able to escape from the roof. And so does it provide shade from the sun in the does. summer? In okay. the summer we'll just pull the shade curtain if it's a really hot sunny day and it'll you know keep it cooler in there and not burn the plants all up and everything so it's really it's nice. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's nicer for us too. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> so it sounds like all the way around it's made it easier for everybody and exactly. it's better for the plants. It's fabulous. We absolutely love it. <laughs> Outside of the greenhouse, other environmentally sound practices are in place to prepare the ground and soil for healthy crops. We, we do a lot of composting, so whatever, you know, whatever is not saleable here, we'll throw back into the field and kind of grind up when we're done with a crop. Um, we, during, you know, the late fall into the winter, we plant winter oats, which mm -hmm. kind of return nitrogen and different nutrients to the soil. Um, so we plant that on pretty much all of our fields to kind of you know, give it that extra boost. And we also do a lot of crop rotation. We don't just plant you know, corn in one spot every single year because then it'll deplete that soil of the nutrients that corn needs. Mm. So you have to kind of rotate. And that makes the plant stronger and more Definitely. nutritious. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for having us today, Terry. It was great talking to you about the benefits of local produce. Thank you so much. <laughs> and next, we'd like to go out to the Dedham Farmer's Market to talk to Kate Canny about what she has going on in Needham.